There are growing concerns about how humans and robots are sharing the road. Waymo had two voluntary recalls this year after crashes in the Phoenix area, and the AI car company faces a massive auto safety investigation by the federal government. For some, climbing into the backseat of a Waymo is venturing into the future. Vroom, vroom, vroom. For others, the self drive sparkle has worn off. Every time they see my truck, this here, they always stop. See? Okay, I thought so. You two go over there. Semi truck driver Shabani Quizera uses this loading dock next to a central Phoenix Waymo hub. I'm gonna show you right now. He posted to TikTok after a truck See? versus Waymo crash the last video. month. The Waymo lost on the blind side, and the sweet driver just smashed it. See the dents and black scrape marks? No driver in there. Shibani says he believes a human driver would have recognized the situation and accommodated the truck's turning radius and blind spot. They're going to give us a space so we can turn. But what happened with Waymo is they do not give us space. Phoenix police investigated this crash. Meantime, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is looking into 31 reports of crashes and alleged traffic violations. The federal safety regulators asked Waymo to provide extensive documentation this summer, saying the autonomous vehicles had unexpected driving behaviors that may increase the risk of crash property damage and injury, and even collisions with clearly visible objects that a competent driver would be expected to avoid. The industry had been getting pretty much of a pass on all the annoyances and problems and loose ends. Phil Copeman is an associate professor at Carnegie Mellon University. He's studied self-driving car safety for 25 years, and he's closely watching the federal investigation. Because people could no longer say, well, nothing's going wrong. Waymo's website says the company's mission is to be the world's most trusted driver. Are they safer than people? It's an educated engineering guess. Waymo shares multiple safety studies, including this one, that its cars had fewer airbag deployment crashes, fewer injury-causing crashes, and fewer police-reported crashes compared to human driving in the cities where they operate for the first 25 million miles. Professor Copeman says statistically, we may not know until Waymo's hit a billion miles. We're going to start to see the rare events matter more and have more concern about the safety kind of events. ABC 15's own cameras capturing the hit and miss responses. Here, a Waymo successfully pulls over with other traffic to let an ambulance pass. And here, a Waymo avoids driving into a car fire being extinguished, but does not follow the other cars detouring through a dirt lot. Instead, it backs up into traffic, then cuts across into a different parking lot. But what we've seen is they make robot mistakes. We've all seen the videos. Posted on social media, now all part of the federal investigation. Unexpected maneuvers, stopping in traffic, Waymo's seemingly getting confused. Why? We got an opinion from Professor Copeman. He says autonomous cars use machine learning based on examples. What if it sees something it doesn't know as an example? Well, not only does it not know what to do, it often has false confidence and just makes something up and just does something crazy or what a human driver would say what it's so obvious why did it do that well it hasn't been trained probably the weirdest situation i've gotten away most stuck in was in may 2021 joel ricks johnson is an arizona youtuber who's documented more than 170 waymo rides number 54 went viral the car tried to make a right turn and it just couldn't quite do it because there were cones in the lane. From the back seat, Joel called rider support, getting a human involved. It really does not like these cones. Not a problem. In a blog, Waymo describes its fleet response system as phone a friend. Humans can remotely check on the car's cameras and sensors, answer the in-car computer's questions about the situation, and provide a new trajectory. But in Joel's case... Kind of like humans fighting with robot. And then it actually it just got stuck in high speed traffic. When Waymo sent a human to the scene to take over driving, the car took off again. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many times roadside assistance has come out to rescue you? That's a good point. Uh, probably somewhere around four or five. Though I don't know if I'm exactly representative of the normal, typical rider. The ABC 15 investigators emailed Waymo asking how often the autonomous cars get stuck and need human intervention. 
A company spokesperson declined to let us see the remote assistance operations, instead saying Waymo sets expectations for service quality based on rapid response times and we adjust and maintain the workforce necessary to meet those standards. Waymo did not provide those standards, nor ratios of human helpers to cars, nor statistics on how often an employee intervenes in what's considered a fully autonomous ride. But you can kind of tell sometimes. Joel says overall he feels very safe. More rides and episodes to come. But as time goes on, they get better and better and better. Waymo tells ABC 15 the autonomous driver does improve over time using artificial intelligence and operational improvements, and it can solve more ambiguous scenarios independently and needs less help. The company also says it's cooperating with NHTSA on that federal auto safety investigation. I'm senior investigator Melissa Blasius, Scripps News.